Welcome to Track Tele, I'm John Hatton. Behind me is the Dyna4 LLX1 digital load indicator. It has an accuracy of 0.2% across the range. We've got units from 500 kilograms up to 20 tonne. The units of display on the unit are in kilograms, tonnes, decanewtons, kilonewtons, pounds as standard. We've got IP65, automatic shutdown facility, tear function, adjustable dynamics effect filter built into the unit and we've also got the option of a handheld display with a range up to 40 meters. Just to show you some of the functions of the Dyna4 LLX1, we'll power the unit up with the power button, it'll give us the hardware version, software version, data calibration, then the unit will zero. We can change the unit of measurement, which is in the top right hand corner. If we press both buttons together, configure comes up. So we want C1-1, which is kilograms, tons, pounds, decanewtons, kilonewtons. So if we have tons, we can then power button and then run all the way through up to seven and then neo, we've done. We've changed the unit of measurement. We can put the peak hole facility by pressing the button to the right. Max comes up. We can apply a load. Maximum load is then stored on the display of the unit. To take that off, quick flick, we're back again. We can also do a tear function so we can suspend a load from the unit. It measures the weight of the mechanism or chain sling or whatever it is that you're dangling on it. We can then press and hold down the tear function. The tear will then come up and it will zero. So you can then see the load that's applied back to zero. To take that off, quick flick of the tear and the load's back there. Nice and simple, one two finger operation. Turn the unit off, press and hold down, stop will come up and we're done. The LLX1 Dyna4 has got built in wireless technology. It works from 2.4 gigahertz Zigbee technology. It has a range of 40 meters and this is how easy it is to operate. You turn the load cell on first, you let it go through the functions. When it gets to zero, you can turn the handheld display on and then the handheld will then pick up the zeros in the unit. It has a backlight function to make viewing a lot easier. As you can see from the display on the Dyna4, it's flashing. It means all the functions are basically being stored and held in the handheld display. We can move the functions over to change the units of measurement by pressing the tick and we can move that over to different, whichever one you want, kilograms and we're working in kilograms. That still says tons but your unit of measurement is on the handheld display. You can also set a peak hole facility in progress it's done maximum peak hold done back to zero and we sorted tear function is exactly the same where you just put the load on and then press the tear button exactly the same as the display on the unit if we were to turn the unit off, the handheld display will start to show X's. If you were to start operating the unit and you turn the handheld display on first, you will always get the X's even after you turn the unit on. You have to turn the load cell on first and then the handheld. It's the load cell that's sending the signal for the handheld to collect.